I would get tripped up about safety when someone was talking about something that happened to them where they were hurt. Maybe physically, maybe emotionally, um, and it really hurt. Like, how was I safe in that moment? And then I heard an explanation of safety that helped me see something new. And that was that there were three kinds of safety that as humans we experience. And the one is physical safety. So in this life as humans, clearly sometimes our bodies are in danger. They may be hurt. We can be injured. We get sick. We die. So there is a not safe condition physically for our bodies. Now, our minds, there's this sense of mental safety, and this is a feeling. It's a feeling that can be very real in the body, right? And so when I feel unsafe mentally, there's nothing happening. Like, I actually just released a, a little podcast episode called Catastrophe, and I was feeling one morning, like, something's wrong, everything's wrong, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And like, but nothing was wrong. Like that's feeling psychologically or mentally unsafe when I was perfectly safe, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that. And the, the physical and the mental kind of play off of each other, right? Like they can, if, if I feel unsafe physically, sometimes it's really mentally. And then I'm thinking that, I'm, you know, it's back and forth and it just goes in a spiral of I'm not safe. And then there's spiritual safety. Now that spiritual safety is the deeper safety. It is the part of us, however we might express it, it doesn't have to be, some people use the word soul, but I think just the life that is us, the intelligence that is us, that enlivens us is. And on that level, that can never be touched. That can yeah. never be hurt. And so while our bodies clearly can be in an unsafe situation and our minds absolutely feel unsafe, knowing this deeper spiritual safety doesn't bypass the other experiences, doesn't dismiss them, but offers comfort and hope in the midst of them. Mm 